Welcome to our first video for X-Carve and Easel. We are the workshop dogs, Sprocket and Dennis Quaid the Chihuahua. Today we are going to show you how to make an ornament in Easel from Inventables. Hey Sprocket, let's go to the garage and make some ornaments on the X-Carve. What's an ornament and how do we make one? I watch mom and dad all the time in the shop, I can show you how. Okay Dennis, let's go. First, start a new project in Easel. Now select the Shapes tool palette. Next, select the circle from the tools palette. Now you should have a circle on your screen. Hey Dennis Quaid, is that a ball? No Sprocket, it is not a ball. Now that we have a circle on the screen, we need to change the depth of the cut for the circle. Now, select the Shape tab. Now we need to make sure our circle is the same size. First, lock the lockbox. Now set the size of your circle. Our circle is 6 by 6 inches. Your size may be different depending on your material and design. Now your circle size is set correctly. Hey, Dennis Quaid, is that a ball? No sprocket, it's not a ball. This is our circle. Now we need to copy the circle. Select the circle and copy and paste it to your screen. Now, select the new circle. Change the new circle to be smaller than the black circle. This creates the outer ring. OK Sprocket, now we need to change the cut depth for the new circle. For the new circle, change the cutting depth to zero. Center the white circle on the black circle. Make sure the circles are aligned evenly. When you select two objects in Easel, the Align tools appear. For our project we need to select horizontal and vertical center. The highlighted areas show you the horizontal and vertical center buttons. Now, with both circles selected, combine the circles. You will know that the circles are combined when the white circle disappears. The grid from the background is visible in the center, and now there is one black ring instead of two separate circles. Now we can design the rest of the ornament. Find a font that you want to use in your project. We are adding an initial to our ornament, so find one you like. We chose our font. We like it because it is swirly. Drag your text to the center of your circle. Select the text by double-clicking.
Change the text to the initial of your choice. Our anomath will have an A. Now we will adjust the size to fit the ring. You can drag the text to make it larger. Keep dragging until your initial is large enough to overlap the outer ring. Keep adjusting the text until it fits into your circle. See how our A overlaps the outer circle? Make sure your design does the same thing. We will combine these shapes and if they don't overlap the initial will not have enough support. Now select the initial and change the cut depth of the initial to zero which matches the outer ring. Use the cut depth tab to change the depth of the initial. Select both the ring and the initial and use the shortcut Ctrl plus J to combine them. Now set the parameters for your material. Ours is set for 8x8 with 0.05 for the thickness. Yours may differ depending on your material. Select the edit label. Center the ornament to the material. Now, change the carving type. Set your project to cut outside of the shape path. This allows the carve to cut out the negative spaces of your ornament. For our project, we remove the tabs. However, this is a preference. You may find that tabs help secure the carve. Check to see that your ornament looks LTHE same as ours. Ensure that your project carves outside of the shape. Let's go out to the workshop, Sprocket. It is time to carve our ornament. Hello little alien. Sprocket and I would like to carve our ornament. Yay! We are done Sprocket. We made our ornament. Good job Dennis. That ornament still does it look like a ball. Do we get a treat now? Okay Sprocket. Let's go get a treat. Bye everybody. See you next time on Woodship Dogs.